Hey everyone, today I have two DIY face masks you can use with the items you can find in your kitchen, plus an extra rice toner I'm going to show you guys how to make that will literally take you two seconds and work wonders for your face. My boyfriend went out and got me a Slurpee. So for the first item, all you will need is a small container or a cup, bowl, whatever you can find in your kitchen. Next you're going to need some coconut oil which is rich in antioxidants, breaks down your dead skin cells and hydrates your skin. I know I've heard it's also really good to use as oil for cooking which I haven't tried but I will as well as any hair masks. Maybe I can do a tutorial on that. So you're just going to go ahead and take a spoonful of the coconut oil and dump it in your container, cup, bowl, whatever it is you decided to use. Alright, so next you're just going to grab some honey. I was supposed to use raw honey, but this is the only one I found in my kitchen, so whatever, it should still work. Um, it's great for fading any acne, scars, and blemishes. It's a really great, great moisturizer, and it's apparently great for slowing down aging, which, who wouldn't want that? So you're going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of honey and just dump it in your little bowl or cup. Next, you're going to go ahead and cut half of a lemon. We're going to use some of the juice from that lemon to pour into the spoon. We're going to go ahead and do one teaspoon of some lemon juice. Lemon juice is really, really good for fading any acne scars as well. It does also lighten and brighten your skin. Now time to go ahead and smear it all over your face. You can see my boyfriend there on the right trying to film me. This mask, honestly, it left my skin extremely, extremely soft right after I washed it all off. Go ahead and apply it evenly everywhere. Make sure you don't get it in your eyes. You're going to see my skin look very wet and glowy looking. That's because of the honey. And after you're done applying, just go ahead and wait around for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and wash it all off and enjoy your nice, soft looking face. All right, so for the next face mask, once again, go ahead and grab a container, cup, whatever it is. And then we are going to add some oats doesn't matter what kind of oats just make sure they are oats <laughs> and another little cup or container because you are gonna do a cup full or honestly you measure your own amount of how much you want it's, if it's just for yourself honestly I added too much but I ended up adding a little less after I didn't kind of show you guys I just added it out all right, so next you are going to add some unsweetened plain yogurt. Make sure it is unsweetened just because some of the sweetened yogurts can irritate your skin and we don't want that. All right, go ahead and add once again the amount that you think you need for your entire face. It doesn't have to be a spoonful or two spoonfuls, just the amount you think you'll need for your entire face. Alright, so next, once again, you are going to add some honey. And for this one, you're just going to, once again, measure it yourself. I'm just going to go ahead and add a spoonful first, see if I need some more or not. And let it drip 
into all the mess you have going on. Just kidding. And yeah, I'm j I just went ahead and added one. I don't think I needed a another spoonful. And just mix, 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 mix it very, very well. And time to apply it. This one was pretty hard to put on my face just because of the oats. It was pretty thick. I did kind of let it sit out for a while, but either way, the oats were so thick that they kept falling off my face, but still a really great mask. Kind of smells a little funky too, just because of the yogurt. And keep applying and applying. This one might take a while longer to go ahead and apply. And there you can see my boyfriend's shirt. Great job of trying to hide yourself, babe. And yeah, trying to make sure the oats don't fall. And that is the result. It looks really gross and weird and will probably won't smell too good as the first mask. But trust me, it's really, really good for your skin. Alright, so now on to the rice toner. Go ahead and grab a small bowl that you have laying around and we are going to use brown rice. You can use jasmine rice or any other rice you have laying around. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and open my bag and pour in some rice. Since my bowl is small and I'm just going to make one little bottle of it, I'm just going to pour less than half of the bowl. Alrighty, and then go ahead and fill a cup up of water. Make sure you also get a spoon, a straw, just something to go ahead and mix the rice in the water with. And dump the entire water inside the bowl. Alright, go ahead and grab your spoon and mix, mix, mix. And I would let the rice and the water sit for about a good five minutes. Just make sure the water is super, super cloudy. All right, and once the water is extremely cloudy, I went ahead and grabbed a container. I think this was a salt and pepper shaker, not sure, but just went ahead and washed it out really good and go ahead and pour the toner into any container that you guys decide to use. I didn't think about it and it was really hard to pour in that toner inside my tiny little bottle, but I figured it out. Alright, now that we have our toner ready, all you need is a cotton ball, cotton pad, and go ahead and pour some on the little pad and wipe your entire face off. And make sure you get your entire face very clean and don't forget your neck. And after you're done, go ahead and look at your little cotton ball or pad and see how dirty your face was. Alright guys, that was it for now. Hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully you guys try these masks out yourself. I take care of my skin a lot, whether it's using the face masks or honestly just making sure I take off my makeup every night before bed. Because it will really, really, really make a huge difference. Alright guys, so that was it for the video. Thumbs up if you liked my masks I showed you guys and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comment box down below if you guys tried these out and let me know any of your beauty secrets that you guys do all the time. Thanks for watching.